Coming up in the biggest episode ever, I will be taking you on an epic journey as I show you a full day of dramas, laughs and true accounts of life in the mobile car cleaning business. We will be tackling three cars using loads of different products and demonstrating how to get your car looking its best. Plus, I will be revealing the secret to a perfect cup of tea. Trust me, you do not want to miss this one. We begin the day in the beautiful, quiet Surrey location of Charwood, right next to Gatwick Airport. And before I could get myself off to work, I had the usual tasks of dragging my sorry self out of bed, eating a huge breakfast and taking a dog out for a poo. No! And this time around, I've recruited help from the old man who couldn't be bothered to go gardening, so he decided to come along for the ride. And being the warmest day of 2022, actually correct me, the only warm day of 2022, I had a feeling today would be a funny old day, because whenever dad turns up, there's always carnage that follows. Have I got a shiner on the side of my head? Can't tell. <laughs> I went to say goodbye to the dog and he's just like headbutting me so f***ing <laughs> hard. Bloody uh, hell, yeah. honestly, he properly he just nutted me. The roads weren't as crazy as normal, mainly because I was running late, so I missed all the rush hour traffic. But soon enough, it presented itself its first big challenge. We've got this gentle slope up here. And this van struggles every time I get up that hill, so I'm waiting for that golf in front to get a bit of speed. So I need a good run up right now, or I'm never going to get up. But she's not going quick enough. Please speed up. I need to get some really good acceleration. I, I can't go any. I need the run up. You, you Honestly, up. by the time I catch up with her, I'm going to have to change down a gear, and I'm not going to get up the bloody hill. This poor van struggles with one person in it. Dad, I'm, I'm filming that as well. You, uh. Right, here we go. Gentle slope. If I catch up with her, I'm going to be so annoyed. Come on, baby. Third gear. This is like fast and furious. Oh. It's so difficult. Come on! Rock it, rock it. I'm doing 45. I can, get, I can make it. I can rock make it. Hang on. I'll rock it, we'll be fine. Ah, uh, yes! That's so terrifying, because as soon as it goes into like second gear, it starts like spluttering and everything. Poor old thing. You're a good man. After getting over the hill, I had to contend with getting stuck behind Susan and driving past the funniest street name in the world. But soon enough, we made it to our first job of the day. I've got so much junk, so many blooming jet washes in my way. I'm not very organised today, Dan. Like, completely... I've had the whole school holidays off. I've had a week. And I could have done this at any time, but no. When you have kids, you can't sort stuff out. After I finished moaning about the messy van, we just had to prep the buckets, fill up the snow foam bottle, and pull out the VW ready for wash number one. And this car wasn't too bad on the outside, but it did need a little extra care and attention on the inside. Job number one was to clean the wheels and this time round I'm using a brand new method because I'm using Infinity Wax Wheel Shampoo. And this one is a highly concentrated alkaline shampoo which is designed to safely break down the common brake dust and contamination. So the aim of the game here is to rinse first with water and then use a bucket of wheel shampoo with a brush to gradually remove the dirt and you can actually add this to a spray bottle as well. So it's definitely going to be something I want to test out a little bit more in the future. And this makes a great cost effective alternative compared to spraying wheel cleaner on wheels that don't need a massive clean. So not only did I use it on the wheels but I also gave it a try out on the tyres as well. Once the wheels were sorted, I did the usual pre-wash process of spraying a citrus pre-wash, followed by a snow foam using the Arva P80. And as much as I love this machine, I still can't help but think that the foam cannon has one major flaw, and the problem is the consumption of foam. You need to fill up the foam cannon twice just to get around one small car, but on the plus side, the quality of the foam was stunning. Well, I say that, but then my dad thought it would be a good idea to use half a bottle of Yum Foam in the cannon. Today's backing track is Barry and the Leaf Blowers next door. Jesus Christ, how much foam did you put in? Did you put loads in? No. <laughs> what the hell has happened to it? Are you sure you didn't put much in? You told me to put in, look, show you. 
That's the one. It says foam on it. How much foam have you used in this? About an inch. That much? Yeah. You only need a little bit. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I see. We'll just put some more water in it. Cheers, Dad. You just cost me a fortune. <laughs> Honestly, Brilliant. that Nothing is Nothing wrong so with that. Thick. You like a nice thick job. Oh my God. Well, he told me to top it up with the foam. After increasing my blood pressure, Dad took control of the P80 and blasted off the foam. Then we were ready to try out the pure shampoo from Infinity Wax. And this one doesn't contain any silicones or waxes or gloss enhancers, making it a good all rounder for maintenance washes. And thankfully we had a nice bit of cloud coverage so we could get through the entire wash pretty quickly. With the final rinse on the VW all taken care of, it was time to try out the rapid detailer. But first I needed to get the cap off and carefully pour it out into an empty bottle. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna be super delicate here because I'm trying to, trying to do something. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna try not to make a mess. <laughs> and the trick is to be Nice and easy. Oh, for crying out loud, just... <laughs> <laughs> I could have done a better job than that. Yeah, but you would have taken forever. Bloody kids. The amount of time we would have wasted with you filling this up Bloody five hours kids. later. Amateurs, a lot of you, these children. Right, let's give this a go. Rapid detailer. <laughs> Says we can spray it wet. So with the rapid detailer, I decided to spray it while it was wet from the previous rinse. So it acted a bit like a drying aid and I'm using my Yum Waffle towels here to get the job done quickly. And coming up soon, I'm trying out the brand new twist loop towels and I'm hoping these are gonna be a game changer for my business. So if you haven't already done so, then smash the subscribe button right now so you can be the first to watch it right here. So we're doing good, we're making good progress, and this detailer spray, I have to say, is pretty decent, but there is a bit of an issue that we've got now, because people have been cutting the grass next door and using the leaf blowers, there's lots of pollen which is starting to set on it. So we have to get a wriggle on and get this thing back inside. So one of the things I hate about these cars is these freaking carpets. They are ridiculous. Now this is a really nice car, but come on VW, what are you playing at? You're gonna get sand and all sorts of bits of grit in these carpets. There's only a couple of ways you can get them out. You can either use a hoover while it's dry or use a brush or give it a good bang. So vibrations will lift the sand out of the carpets and it will help you assist it. As you may see on Instagram, there's loads of viral videos of people using back massages, and all sorts of things that they're gonna run into the carpet and the more it vibrates like that, the easier it is to get the dirt out. I haven't got a back massager on me though, Dad. We were making great progress, but the sand needed to come out. So we tried giving the carpets a good old fashioned slap. And then it was dad's turn. Right, dad, if you can just give it a good slap, like you're at the Oscars. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, use that brush, that brush there, yeah. But be careful because the hair's falling out. Keep my wife's Name out your mouth. I was on about the brushes, Will. Anyway, it's time for a cup of tea, and for those of you who are rubbish at making tea, pay attention. I kid you not, that is like they are the best cups of tea. And yeah, that was just what she said. The secret ingredient is MS milk. It's amazing, isn't it? Marks and no, just marks just marks and spencer milk. It just makes the others taste like piss. I don't know, it's just really good, isn't it? Look at that. It's a good colour. I feel like one of those blimmin' critics on, what do you call it, MasterChef. 
That is a good cup of tea. That's lovely, it's just terrific. I don't say this often, but I tell you what, I think in terms of all my clients, she makes the best tea. Hey, you son, have a biscuit. What's it, a breakaway? Well, break out. Break out? <laughs> it looks like a breakaway, but it's not. Who made this? Tower Gate, Lidl. <laughs> It's not bad, is it, for a fake breakaway? I've just finished my tea now, so it's sort of ruined the moment. After a sensational cup of tea, my dad then managed to spot the bleeding obvious. Oh, you're doing a tyre? Yeah. As always, I'm using Yum Dress V2 because still to this day, it's my number one tire treatment. And I have to say, this car looks stunning once we had finished it, but we weren't done there. We still had two more cars to go. Next on the list was the Mini Cooper, which needed a maintenance valet with a few extra upsells. So this one was due a decon wash followed by a wax. And this was a first time feature for the channel as I will be using Fusso Coat, which is potentially the most durable wax on the market. So it's going to be interesting to see how this one performs over time. Let's get this bad boy empty. And get cracking. State of that. So we begin with the tyres which needed a bit of a refresh so I'm giving them a deep scrub with Yum and Dress and a stiff brush. And as you can see here the product is working quite well as you can see the colour change in the tyres as the chemical pulls out all the grime. And when it comes to tyre cleaning I have a load of different brushes that I normally pick on the day because each one has its own pros and cons. So I will be cutting through some of the segments as well on the clean because we do have so much to get through today so we're now going to jump on ahead to the decon wash. Okay, so I recently did a video all about decontaminating your paintwork and if you haven't seen it yet, I'll put a little link up here. But one of the ways that I did it was the proper way that you should decontaminate a car. However, everybody kept saying in the comments, why isn't there any purple running down? Well, I now wanna show you the difference between using the same sort of product on a car that hasn't been washed and you'll probably see this thing will properly bleed purple everywhere and it's very satisfying to look at but it's not always the best method to do. So I'm now gonna show you exactly what it looks like. So this is not how you should do it, by the way. You really should do a proper wash first. So we're gonna spray this around and then we're gonna leave it for a couple of minutes to dwell. Do its magic. It stinks. Jeez. Smells like gone off egg, Dad. I've done worse in the van. As you can see, the difference between a car that hasn't had a wash before you spray it is night and day. You can see everything pulling out. But one of the problems of doing it this way is quite simple. You're spraying over dirt, you're wasting the product. So it's always better to give the car a decent wash before you tackle this sort of job. So what you're seeing here is the pressure washer simply obliterate the dirt and the iron particles. And it just goes to show that sometimes companies like to exaggerate their advertising by spraying over the dirt to make the product look more effective. But mind you, I'm not completely against it because it does look pretty cool nevertheless. And speaking of pressure washers, the one I'm using here in this video is the Arva P80. And I have made a video all about this powerhouse of a machine. And in a few months time, I will be updating my thoughts on how it's been performing and also covering some of those minor issues that people tend to mention. Sake, it's not even on. Right, take two. The snow foam looked amazing. The thing with coloured snow foam is it does attract a fair few new customers and people do love to see something different. So although it's not a magic cure for removing every piece of dirt, it will get you some proper exposure. So I always carry a few bottles of Alien Magic around because you never know when you're going to need it. The thing with coloured foams are most people assume it's going to leave a royal mess. But I've been using it for a few years now and it's never stained anything provided you use it properly. You shouldn't get any dramas. Speaking of drama, I do love a bit of controversy. So today I'm using the one bucket method. And before you get upset and press the thumbs down button, I thought I'd show you a good way of keeping those wash mitts clean without the second bucket. So this is gonna be a better alternative to one bucket method, Dad. Watch this, go on, get the gun. Jesus Christ. And now we can just stick it in the bucket. <laughs> and next time people moan saying, there's all the one bucket method, well, just do that, it's a lot easier. <laughs> 
Okay, so it's not the fastest way, but ideally, if you do have a stubby gun, it is a lot easier. That's why I like the Arva machines, because the lances are such a strong point for the brand. Once we had given the car another rinse and a dry, we could finally crack open the pot of wax. And this one is Fuso Light, which is designed on lighter paintwork, obviously. And this one didn't disappoint. The car looked absolutely stunning. In fact, it was so easy to apply, I could have done it one-handed whilst having my second cup of tea. Multitasking, Dad. I'm bloody good at polishing and drinking tea, and there's a fine skill to it as well. Oh, that's lovely. That's really, that's scolding my guts, but it's nice. Ah, lovely. I'm trying to go as thin as possible, and you're probably not even going to be able to see that. But I'm hoping by the time it's done, it's going to look amazing. The wax was super easy to apply, and it's always best to pick a cloudy day when using Fuso. And next week, we will have a video on Fuso Dark as well, plus a few other legendary products along the way. All I needed to do now was get some more shots for Instagram, but Dad thought it'd be funny to muck around instead. Dad, what have you done to that dog? He, he didn't look happy. Are you coming, Dad? 100 miles an hour, Tom Cruise. With the mini all done and dusted, it was time to stop for a few minutes and have a rest. And somehow, we ended up in a heated debate about sandwiches. That's not salmon, is it? What salmon? What's wrong with you? That's disgusting. Nobody eats salmon, Good for apart you. from rich people. Well, it's better than Marmite. After causing offence to the sandwich, we needed time to reflect on the cracking jobs we had done so far. And the next vehicle on the list was the Jeep Wrangler. This particular car wasn't difficult, but I'd say the worst thing about it is the lack of space for such a big car. You find yourself clambering in and out, and nine times out of 10, you end up whacking your elbow. We're on to the last car now. We just got the Jeep Wrangler to take care of, and then we can go home. And as it's getting late, the wind has picked up. I think it's gonna rain and it's gonna completely flip over and we're probably gonna have really bad weather in a minute. So hopefully we can get this finished in time. I'm pretty sure we can do it anyway. I've got no worries. This one's a doddle. Where are you, dad? Are you ready? You're on your phone again. That's what you're doing. Got a big one going on here. We were getting tired, but still making great progress for the day. It's been good. I think it's been really good. I've been in a t-shirt all day. I've felt really good today. I'm in a good mood, sort of. So we're taking care of the wheels. The next thing we're gonna do is tackle it with a decent snow foam. So we're gonna be bringing out Yum Foam again for the second time today. And then we're gonna get this snow foamed up, rinsed off, give it a wash and then we're almost there. We've still got the inside to do and a few other little bits, but we are making progress. And I'll tell you what, I think I'm done in. I'm proper done in today. As you can see here, Yum Foam works wonders when you put in the right amount. And when you work on a matte or satin finish, it's really important to avoid using things like traffic film removers. So make sure you pick a quality foam that will make your life easier. And speaking of making your life easier, you could tell my dad was more interested in hiding, so I could do all the work. Dad, where are you gone? Yeah, <laughs> He's buggered off again. He's run out already, again. Right, so big cars are normally a problem, but lucky, I got my extendable lance with my powerful Arva, so at least I can blast it all away and I haven't got to go around the other side again to blast it, so watch this. Apart from the broken leg, we were almost at the home stretch, and so we kicked it up a notch and went on full power. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Dad. The weather started off so well this morning, but it was starting to turn pretty quickly. 
that rain is coming. Those rain clouds were heading in fast, so we had to get a move on. But with a bit of teamwork, we knew we could pull this one off. Thankfully, the interior was pretty decent to work on, so it didn't take any longer than 20 minutes to bring it back up to a good condition. It's raining. I'm having a good day today, Dad. Like, proper good. I've had no stress. But she's not going quick enough. Granted, it's trying to rain now, but luckily I've got a little umbrella above, keeping me nice and dry. And it had been a great day not just for the business, but for my family as well. And being self-employed, it gives me the freedom that I so badly desire. And being able to work with my dad and even share these epic moments with you guys means the world to me. And someday when this all comes to an end, I know I can look back on these moments and smile. Whoa, what is this traffic? Oh, piss off. I've got an idea. I'm gonna have to do a Yui here. My guess is some prat has had an accident on the M25, as per usual, every day at five o'clock, they always have a crash. And what he's done is, he's thought Dave's coming home, I'm gonna smash into someone. So, what I'm gonna do is go back on ourselves. Oh, no, I'm not going that way. You can sod right off. For the sake of a two minute drive, I'm gonna go back into town, turn left, and we're going to go past Chelsea training ground again. Honestly, you can't... This is the most ridiculous place on the earth. Like, if you're in traffic at five o'clock, you've got no chance of getting home, like, ever. You may as well just say goodnight to the kids now because you're never going to get home, even though you live 10 miles away. What have you got now? A fake Mars bar. Fake Mars bar. Do you want a fake Twix? Yeah, I'm not legally allowed to eat it though, am I? That's the problem. I'll shove it in your mouth. No, they, they've got a, they, No, don't! I'm done! I'll eat the Twix then. I'm not even my own dad chuck some brown thing into my mouth. So this has been such a blast filming this video and I get so many calls every day asking me to do full two day paint corrections and I'm sorry to say this but it's just not for me. I love being able to get outside in the elements and film the excitement that follows. And no, I'm definitely not the best detailer in the world. In fact, I wouldn't even call myself a detailer. I'm just a car valeter who's managed to make the best out of what life has given me. And if this is something you're passionate about, then for goodness sake, Go for it now before it's too late.